Hey, all right, <clears throat> this is a requested video. Um, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but the end of this tube. Um, this is one of the. It's, it's called a small bore extension, and it's medical. I just cut it off, and then I snipped the edges to where they were rounded a little better. And then I took some, it was like 600 grit sandpaper, and I sanded it real smooth, or maybe it was a thousand. So it was nice and round, okay. And I had the whole thing filled. This is a three mil syringe, medical grade. It is filled with a 3% solution of Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate and distilled water. And this is what I'm going to use to uh, treat some trophies internally to basically give them a flush, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and get the trophies out and um, we'll go ahead and start process here. This is just to provide a spot, a wet spot for the trophies. And I have a couple different sizes here that are needing this. Um, actually, I think I grabbed three. I'll start with the larger trophies. <clears throat> These are wild caught. All right, so what I do is I just pinch the mouth a little bit and then slip it in. And you'll feel the line stop. So what I do is I kind of twist. And did you see it just slip in a little bit? So that slips it further down the esophagus. And then all you do is just put a few cc's down in there and it's better to hold them upright and then just pull it out it's that simple he's doing fine you can see he's pretty relaxed so I put them back in a, a bucket that's got a black line black um, garbage bag lining Here's the next one. And some of them just, they're a little bit more calm, like this guy's a little. I just pinch the mouth again. And you can notice how I'm sticking the side that's down. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles on the line. And just kind of twist, and it slips in. Add like a cc or so and pull it out gently and that's it it's not real hard um, you do a few of them and you get the hang of it now that was a smaller one here is the smallest one and these are a little little tougher because obviously the line in proportion is a little bit bigger so just have to be a little bit more careful okay so that's where it stops There we go. And then obviously this one isn't going to slip in as far because the fish is smaller. Just a couple cc's. And you pull it out real gently. And that's it. It's, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. And these are my Bulu points. Wild caught from Greg, a little Africa Aquatics. They're beautiful. Thanks, Greg. And that's pretty much it. Um, I have them in a bucket. I let them calm down. You can't really see them in there, but that's 
probably the best way to do it. You want to put them in a white bucket, it just kind of freaks them out. It seems like the, the dark environment's better for them. That's everybody else. So that's it. I hope this was helpful and um, you know informative for you. And I gotta tell you, I had a, I lost one before I started this treatment, bloated up. Obviously, I'm not sure if it was from constipation or some type of hexameter, or whatever's going on in there. But once I started this treatment, there was a there was another one that got a little chubby later on that night after I lost that that first one. And so I ended up mixing mixing up the solution, get everything together, and treated the the chubbier one. Turn the lights off, put it back, and then turn the lights on again in like 10 minutes. And it had a, a, a good, I mean, it was probably a couple inches feces hanging out the back of it. I mean, it was that fast. And I think they're cleaned out now, but the main thing is that you want to keep retreating them. It's, the recommendation is three to five days. And then, you know, you should be good to go after that point and they're all, I mean they're all acting a lot better now um, you know they're, they're definitely socializing with each, with each other more and I think the initial trigger was obviously there, there's 30 of them now there's 29 in a four foot tank and I just think it's too much for them you know it, it once there was some spike it was a third water change and there was some spawning activity that started and there was a there was that male right in the middle that you just saw that guy he just got super aggressive and was just chasing everybody from end to end that's like his spot right there in the middle so i think that's what triggered it so regardless they're all looks like they're doing better i'm also using canaplex which is for bacterial and fungal and that it gets absorbed through the skin those are that's for infection so that was just a, a secondary precaution and um, that seemed like between that and the Epsom salt and water changes that did the trick so today is the third day I'm gonna see how they act today I'll put a little food in there and see how everybody's acting and then go from there as far as retreatment so but that's it thanks for watching